my home for 20 years now, 21 years. But then when I started, you know, back in 2000 when I bought that truck, just worrying about where you were going to park. You didn't think about it. They, they thought it was easy, you know, but you go in front of somebody's home and residences and don't park here. We're calling the police. You drop it all, you're throwing all your garbage. And that's one thing I never even would throw not even a piece of gun, gun wrapper, a candy wrapper. It was hard. It was difficult. I managed, I got through it, but being harassed by homeless people, you know, coming by and trying to break in, asking what you want, you know, what are you doing here? And people that, hey, wherever you park, they just, it, it, was, it was not easy. But you got used to it just by moving around. And I did have a few relatives that I could possibly go and park once in a while in front of their, in front of their residences. And then I would um, get up and leave, you know, help a little what I could help them with. But all in all, it, it wasn't easy at first. We opened up um, safe parks. Uh, these are individuals and families living in their vehicles. They need a, a safe place to park at night. A couple of times I did have sheriffs um, the, the workers for the sheriff's department come to tell me you couldn't park here because you had no business here there's no parking there's no camping overnight and I told them but we have permission this organization well we don't know about it you're going to have to get out we're going to cite you right now and stuff like that happened to me twice and then um, but then I, they finally started getting the word that the Amigos were giving us a permission to BTA was giving us permission to park here our streets are full of homeless people. There's 10,000 homeless people in this county. It, it's, it's astonishing. The home prices just keep going up and, and renters simply can't afford to rent anymore and you can't afford to live here. The, the living situation, uh, rent is going up and up and they don't take this into consideration job-wise that, you know, okay, you're hiring a person for the minimum job, but now the minimum job does not cover rent. Like you, you work as a low, low job, and they're expecting you to still pay high rent. Here at the Quality Inn, um, this is a safe place for families who are previously unhoused, have, were living in their cars, sometimes they were living in the actual streets, or they were living cramped up in like relatives' houses. So it's a safe place for families to come here to the motel where they will have their own room. So this is just through referrals only. Mm -hmm. So there's a county shelter hotline and people call that shelter hotline and then they get referred to here. So all the families, so it's through referrals. We've been here three months. Um, we don't know how long we'll be able to stay here. We know that um, there's an extension here and there. We don't know how much that goes. Um, or if after this we can have to get still more help because maybe the, the waiting list is till September or till, till the next year. Um, before we were here, we were homeless. Um, pretty much in the car, um, we did our best that we could do possible, go to the park, make food there. But I mean, after, after that, where do you store your food? Uh, where do you go wash your clothes? Where do you store your clothes? We have a goal of building 4,900 units of housing for our community. And what's been great about it is that we've been able to leverage that money just with um, state grants and uh, other kinds of investments that have really meant that Measure A has gone, you know, we're really extending it as far as we can. County liked the idea. Um, uh, Ernie, the architect, researched and found pallet homes. So um, we brought pallet homes. Uh, they're based out of Washington. We brought them uh, to San Jose, and uh, and we knew that um, a they were portable. Um, they were fairly reasonable. They. Uh, they run anywhere between ten and uh, six and ten thousand dollars per unit, which is fairly reasonable. And, and more importantly, they could be 
put up in anywhere between 25. <clears throat> the one that I saw put up was um, in 25 minutes. Um, and they're portable, so you can pick them up and you can move them. And so we were on to something and it was, it was something that we were really excited about. So really doing things differently and practicing um, seeing the family, um, you know, because when you're in a shelter, you're, you're being processed. It's a factory, right? You're coming in, going out, you know, um, not to say that, that they're all bad and that there aren't caring people there because they are, but I think the system itself has to change. Um, and so what I knew going in was that we did not want to be that and we needed it to be different. Um, and, um, and so um, this whole concept of radical hospitality, to be able to know every family by name, every child by name, um, that, we, that we are in deep relationships with them, and then just how um, our, our work there has been about building communities. And they just uh, put a sign on the wall saying we have to move by that date. We have to do it, you know. On house, I probably, I, I lost my job and I can't get another job and I lost my house. You work to live, you know. That's, I mean, that's what, you, that's what you work for so you can rent a house. It's expensive here. This city is a catastrophe. This city, we have homeless camps in every district of the city. We have people living out in the streets. We have people who are, who are suffering and people in the middle of winter and people are literally going crazy from having to live outside. And it's simply not acceptable. And then the city council just continues to go along as if there's nothing wrong. Uh, I mean, I don't understand it. Ha sido lo peor. Lo peor, lo, la más experiencia más, más dura que yo he pasado en mi vida. Sí. Ni, ni siquiera cuando estuve este, extorsión por los sicarios, porque pues estaba mi familia, me apoyaba y entonces de, como que te sientes más, más segura. Pero aquí, aquí no, solita. Y ahorita este, hace seis meses me diagnosticaron cáncer y, y también eso me ha hecho 